Hey folks, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another Stephen Seagal review. And this time is Code of Honor, one of the seven films he was in for the year 2016. And the, from, for the first two thirds of the film, it seemed like a simple plot where Stephen Seagal was his vigilante and his wife and kid were killed by a drive by. So, it was sort of Seagal being Death Wish, Paul Kersey killing people mostly with a sniper rifle which is funny because there's more sniping in this movie than in a film called Sniper Special Ops which Steven Seagal was in. That Steven Seagal film that he was in, Sniper Special Ops, there's more sniping in this movie than that movie which has sniper in the title. But anyway, so he's killing bad guys and then the cops don't know what to do, and this guy pops up called Craig, played by Craig Sheffer from Nightbreed, among many others. And Craig Sheffer says, I know this guy, I know how he works, and he's trying to stop Steven Seagal, trying to find him. He helps out this woman who's a stripper, who she was working at the strip club. And she went away to pick up her kid or take care of her kid. And the strip club blew up. And Craig Sheffer saves her from some bad guys. Saves her and ultimately her son. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, you know, it's not a film I'd ever watch again. Maybe it'd be a mild rant. Because Seagal really doesn't have much dialogue. He doesn't speak until like 48 minutes in the movie. And, you know, he's just killing people. There's no, well, I can't say none of that. But at the same time, when he kills people, it's, it seems like it's nasty, but it's really bad CGI. There's a lot of headshots. There's more headshots in this than that, than that movie Bullet to the Head with Stallone. But... And there's like shots to the eye and a shot to the wrist. Like at the beginning, it's bad guys are having a meeting outside and Seagal's on this sort of silo and he's has his rifle. It looks like some nasty wounds to the wrist of one guy through a lot of people's heads. But it's really bad CG to the point it looks like a fucking cartoon. So if that was done practically, it would have been a really cool scene. But it was ruined by really shitty, cartoonish CGI effects. But I'm like, okay. And Craig Sheffer, I swear sometimes he sounded like Mark Hamill to me. A little bit hoarse in his voice. But overall, as the movie went along, I didn't mind Craig Sheffer. He got some badass moments. Fucks up these two muggers uh, with knives and... As the movie went along, I thought Craig Sheffer, I kind of warmed up to his acting. But I gotta jump to the ending, because this, this is why I went from mild rant to, no, fuck this movie, this is a piece of shit. Because it got mind-numbingly and stupefyingly complex, confusing, and I have no idea how the fuck the movie ended. I don't think anyone knows how the fuck the movie ended. If you go on IMDb, one person has one theory, one person has another theory, another person has a third theory. I don't even know if the fucking writer, who's the director of this film, even knows what the fuck happened at the end of this movie. Because as the movie goes along, this is other cop work in the case. We see his mind ticking that Craig Sheffer and Steven Seagal are the same person. And I'm like... And then they show Craig Sheffer in places that Seagal was. Sniping a rifle or killing this cameraman and the, a reporter with knives. And then I'm like... None of this... Is it? Are you really trying to do a fight club on me? But then, later on, Seagal and Craig Sheffer are having this little knife fight, which isn't much and doesn't even have an ending, because then it looks like Craig Sheffer's leaving. Seagal is standing there looking at a helicopter, hits a button, the whole place blows up, one body gets carted off. And I know there's a bit of dialogue where Craig Sheffer would tell someone, 
you know, this guy, Sido, he, he, he's like a ghost. Sometimes you think, did he survive? I mean, like, did he survive? Did he exist? So I'm like, I guess that's Craig Sheffer, because Stan Zadol's not going to die in a movie. <laughs> Unless it's actually a decision. Or Mache when he kills himself. But then, it has the woman and this kid. And then this kid says, your friend gave me this baseball glove. And it was a baseball glove in Craig Sheffer's room. And I'm like, well, throughout the film, Craig Sheffer was helping this woman. Why the fuck would he have been helping this woman if he's the bad guy? Because she didn't really have any influence at all, and he kept helping her and saved her son. And even the cop going, oh, he's thinking it's the same person, those two were the same. And she goes, no, that guy, he saved my me and he saved my kid. And then gets this baseball glove and she kind of smiles. I'm like, so are we supposed to believe Craig Sheffer survived? So was Sardol a bad guy? Even though he kept talking about honor, the fucking movie's called Code of Honor, but yet it showed that Sardol killed this cameraman and this reporter, but then another shot, it showed Craig Sheffer killing this reporter, but then if you look at one way, oh, it's Craig Sheffer. That's what I mean, I don't fucking get it. I don't get what the fuck happened with this ending. Any, and anyone who tries to explain it, I'll ask you four more questions, and you play like, I, because the writer is a piece of shit idiot. Uh, I know that's harsh, but it just, are you fucking kidding me? It should just been Craig Sheffer is going after Seagal, have an actual fucking fight, Seagal let you eagle at the door and let someone beat you for once in your fucking life. Everyone's done it. Well, I mean, even Arnold died at the end of Terminator. <laughs> you know, I mean, Graham's a Terminator, but still. And every Rocky, almost every Rocky film still gets the shit beaten out of him, and then he comes back. So, I know I jumped to the ending, but I don't know what the fuck happened. It's like, why would, if it was Sergal, why would he give this baseball glove that was at Craig Sheffer's room to this kid and woman that he never met before. But then Craig Sheffer only killed some people, but why would he only kill some people if he was after Seagal? So he killed some people, but he was nice enough to... And I mean, some people like, did he kill the cameraman and the and the guy, but then he gave a baseball glove, but if it was Seagal, who's never met these people, why would he give the baseball glove? If you're, if you're getting confused, try from my perspective when watching the fucking film. It, this is, a, that ending, that third ad made this a gigantic piece of shit, because it made so, no, it was, I'm stuttering over my words, I don't even know how to do What the fuck has this director done in the past? I really want to know. Does this guy know how to write? Or is he just... I don't give a shit if I'm being fucking rude. This guy was rude to my fucking brain. He overcomplicated it to the point it makes no fucking sense. So, Craig Sheffer's behavior makes no sense. Steven Seagal's behavior makes no sense. When you follow the film from beginning to the end, Seagal's a man of honor. But by the logic of certain parts of this movie, Seagal, you know, it shows Seagal killing this cameraman and this thing. Then from the couch perspective, it shows Craig Sheffer doing this. Either way, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And then Seagal keeps saying this, if uh, you could save the world but no one knew it, would you do it? And then... What the fuck does that even mean? Like, if Craig Sheffer killed everybody, what the fuck was Sergal doing the whole time? He was just standing somewhere with the thumb up his ass for the ending? Or was Sergal killing some people, but then was just waiting for Craig Sheffer to do what? 
Oh, he's trying to make people believe that Trey Sheffer's crazy and he's a vigilante. So is Segal a bad guy? See, <laughs> four point three is too high. This should be lower. Fuck this movie. It tries to be a mind fuck and it's just a fuck stick, making you eat it. What the fuck else has this guy done? Guns, girls, and gambling in a fucking movie called Shadow Puppets. What the fuck is Shadow Puppets? A movie that is a 4.9. Oh, he wrote it too, so I guess it's probably just as fucking confusing as this movie. You're just not smart. No, this movie is just that fucking dumb. The rest of the movie seems straightforward. Like I said, Seagal kills a bunch of people with a sniper rifle. Bad CGI shots, though. Shoots one guy through the wrist, getting bad CG. Blows up a car, stabs a guy. Next morning, cops are there. They find Craig Sheffer, who says he's an agent. At one point, you see Seagal looking at titties in a strip club. And apparently it's a supply for armory for bad guys. He blows the place up, but thankfully he did it just right that the innocent strippers are alive. Uh, Trade Sheffer, or again, swear, sounds like Mark Hamill at times. I talk about how Seagal is a commander of special forces. And then I'm going, well, why the fuck does he want Seagal so badly? I thought they said that a wife and kid of Seagal's character was killed by a drive-by shooting. I thought it was going to be a twist of, oh, was did Trade Sheffer kill the boy and the kid? No. That's nowhere in the movie. So why the fuck is Trade Sheffer going after Seagal? Oh, it's the same person. It can't be the same person because they only say one body came out and there's a stretcher. But then a boy said, your friend gave me this fucking baseball glove, and they never met Steven Seagal, so it'd have to be Trey Sheffer. But then there's other shit that doesn't make sense for that either. It's, that's what I'm talking about. But if Trey Sheffer is a nice enough guy to give a baseball glove to a fucking boy, why would he murder this cameraman and the reporter? But if it wasn't Craig Sheffer who seems to go, why is he an honorable guy that he won't, well, what, you know, he, he's talking about all his honor, fucking title, code of honor, and he's telling Craig Sheffer, I have honor, you don't. <laughs> it's like this movie did not know where it wanted to go. It, it did not know what its plot was. So it did everything, so none of it made sense. If you watch this film, you try to explain to me, I'll ask you 20 questions. What about this? What about this? And at the end of the day, you'll be like, you got me. Exactly. This movie got me, got you, got everybody a middle finger. Hooked around our assholes to pull it apart, to stick a fucking rod up our ass. And then make us think that we like it. But I fucking don't. Pull it out, shove it in your mouth, because you got a bunch of shit coming out of it. And you know what? It smells like bullshit. So I guess I'm the bull, and here's the horns. Get the fuck out of my face, movie. And the rest of the movie was like, uh, is there, but you know, Seagal's barely in it. If you're going for Seagal. Sado randomly pops up, shoots these two guys, being arrested by cops. Craig Sheffer kills these two muggers with a knives. Sado shooting this pimp with a sniper rifle. Again, bad CG. This woman's a witness. Bad guys come to her place. Craig Sheffer saves her and kills them and shoots some bad guys. Shoots a car in an alleyway. Shoots a few. He's a good shot. Stabs a guy. Uh... And then hits it with, hits the knife and stabs the guy again. Splashes of blood. Once again, bad CGI. If it wasn't for the bad CGI, this would have been perfectly fine. 
for the first two thirds. Would have been like a time waster. Seagal, first time he tosses 48 minutes in. Trace Shiver meets Seagal. And Trace Shiver says, I'm the man who's going to bring your crusade to an end. And then Seagal tells him, You're sitting on the bomb. So, uh, Trace Shiver has this shootout with these bad guys. He's stick. He's trying to stick to his chair because he thinks if he, Seagal told him if he gets up, it blows up. So yeah, this little shootout where he's, he has his butt on the chair and he's sliding the chair and he's on the ground sliding and you know, I mean, yeah, it's silly, but it's all you know, it was an all right scene. And then the bat, the rest of the good guys come in. And they go, "There's no bomb there." And he's like, "Shit." One prisoner who's going into a car gets shot in the head. Big CGI cartoonish shit. And Seagal was really far away. Then both characters are gearing up. And then that's where you get like a cameraman reporter and you see Seagal throwing this knife and telling the camera reporter. But then the cop like sees this little piece of cigar by a phone and says he starts thinking of Fight Club. Like Seagal and Craig Trevor, they're the same person. There was never, you know. I'm like, are they the same person? And then, but then when they meet, and Sado goes, they think I'm you. And they think you're me. Then they have this fight that goes nowhere. And then Sado sees a helicopter, runs off, and sets up bombs and blows the place up. I'm like, well, why did he blow the place up? He's like, if you just save the world and no one knew of it, would you do it? And then he blows the place up, and Sheffer, you see, is trying to escape. And I'm thinking, well, I guess Seagal lived because he blew the place up. And you know how a lot of movies are. I mean, look at The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren at the beginning of that film. He, the guy falls back, and there's a knife in. Dolph Lundgren pulls back, and then the whole house blows up, but he's alive because he's the Punisher. So there's a lot of things. Like, How could you survive an explosion? It's action hero logic. That's why. But then the kid's saying, your friend gave me this. And the only friend this woman had was Trey Sheffer. Because Trey Sheffer's the one who saved her. And so it's two people because one went out. But your friend gave me this. Is Trey Sheffer alive? And that was the baseball glove in Trey Sheffer's place. But if Seagal... Well, so he blew up, but this per these people he didn't even know, he just had a baseball club up his ass to do it. Trey Shepard's such an evil guy, but he's helping this woman and the kid. But yet, see, none of this plot makes any fucking sense. Try to explain it. It'd be better going to college and taking a fucking calculus class. It'd be less confusing. So I hate this fucking movie. They took what could have been a simple plot and the director fucked it up. If you've seen this film, you explain the shit to me. Because I don't fucking get it. And I'm a decently smart guy. I'm not just sharpest tool of the shed, but I'm not the dullest either. Give me a fucking break. This writer-director... I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. This script is such a... That, I will say, that third act is one of the most confusingly bad endings I've seen in a while. It's bad because it makes no fucking sense how... If you attempt any logic this way, there's a bunch of robots I will put in your way and be like, well, what about this? Yeah, but what about this? Yeah, but. And if you try to explain it to me this way, then I'll be like, well, what about this? Yeah, but what about this? Yeah, but. Yeah, it's a shitty script. You're right. It is a shitty script. It's Fight Club, but then they're both, one of them's dead. So unless this, you know, this friend gave me this baseball glove, then who the fuck is that dead guy? So there were two people. So it wasn't the same person. Oh, it's not Trey Sheffer, but is it Seagal? Why would Seagal give some random kid a fucking thing um, that he never met and this woman that he never met? And 
you know, she smiles like, hey, yeah, Craig Sheffer saved my life. It's cool. He's still alive. But is the movie trying to make us look like an asshole? Or what? I think it is. And I guess it's succeeding. Fuck this movie. I'm tired of talking about my brain's melting out of my fucking eyeballs and my ears. And I'm tired of it. I'm I'm tired of Seagal. I'm tired of the fucking movies he's in. Even if he's in it for a little bit, there are huge amounts of dog shit. I'm tired. I'm fucking mad. I'm fucking pissed off. I'm about ready to have a heart attack. So this director, writer, stop. Do not make any movies ever again. You don't know how to write. If somehow that fucking director goes on my video and comments, you did call me an asshole. But he has that right. But I wanted to explain in detail what the fuck the ending to this movie was. Made me eat my words. And then I will fucking ask you 50 questions about it. And then you explain it to me. If you can't, then I have some certain points. You cannot make this understandable, director. The ending that you shot, this third act, you cannot make this logical. You cannot explain it to cross the I's and dot the T's. See what I said there? That's as stupid as this fucking movie. It's dot the I's and cross the T's. See, that's how you do it the right way. The way he does it, it would be dot the T's and cross the I's. You must have five across the I's and I watch this fucking movie. Fuck this plot. Fuck this ending. Fuck this writing.